<laughs> hey, switching gears a little bit. During much of the 20th century, boxing, baseball, and horse racing were the sports everyone talked about. Everyone knew who boxer Muhammad Ali was and slugger Willie Mays. The same was true of a harness horse named Dan Patch. Yeah, Dan Patch distinguished himself by shipping all over the country and racing against all comers. This year, the horse who won the Dan Patch Stakes at Harris Hoosier Park is a pacer named Bulldog Hanover. And he does the same thing Dan Patch did all those years ago. He was back at the track Friday night to further cement his legacy as the fastest harness horse in history. Over fourth on the outside, tattoo artist is pinned. In over a hundred years of harness racing, it had never happened before. No standard bred athlete had ever paced a mile in under a minute 46 seconds. A rippled mass of muscular harness horse perfection named Bulldog Hanover didn't know that or care when on July 16th he bested a field of 11 to set a new world record of a buck 45-4 in the William R. Houghton at Meadowlands Racetrack. It's Bulldog Hanover, 145-4. There it is, the fastest mile in harness racing history. Friday afternoon found the talented standard bred stallion surveying the backside at Harris Hoosier Park in Anderson, Indiana, along with his assistant uh -huh. trainer, Johnny Malaya. One need only talk to Malaya for a moment to realize he loves this life-changing racehorse. Nice to work with. Perfect to work with, actually. And uh, he just blossomed. Every year he got better and better. And this year is, he's just reached the top of his game. Bulldog Hanover seemed vaguely impatient hours before he was set to compete in the Harris Hoosier Park Pacing Derby against nine top-class standard breads. He paced in his backside stall, peering out his window full of curiosity. His personality is part of what makes Malaya so proud of his historic charge. He does things on the track that he does all the work in the race. He doesn't sit back and let everybody else do the work. He's the horse doing all the work in the race. And at the wire, he's just drawing away from horses. So he doesn't do anything easy. <laughs> and when he's not blowing away his rivals on the racetrack, he is being happily catered to by his human connections. He's a character. You know, he, uh, he likes to drag you around the place. He wants to go where he wants to go. Uh, everything has to be his idea. And uh, we just try to cater to them and, you know, we spoil them and give them treats all the time and just keep them happy, basically. But on the track, he's a perfect, perfect horse. Like, he's, he'll walk if you want him to walk. He'll train fast if you want him to train fast. He does everything per perfect. And he loves to race. When, when I bring him in to race, he just gets excited. He just loves it. One of the things Bulldog Hanover's handlers tell me is that not only is he a good race horse, He's extremely intelligent. He's, he's very intelligent. He knows, he's got his routine. He knows every minute where he should be and what we should be doing to him. Hours after I spoke with Malaya, Bulldog Hanover lived up to all the hype surrounding his Hoosier Park arrival. Not only did he win the Harris Hoosier Park Pacing Derby, he set a new track record at the historic venue that first opened in 1994. It's a marvelous mile for Bulldog Hanover, 146 and 3! And the interesting thing about Bulldog Hanover is he's, he's already breeding. He's already making Bulldog Hanover babies. And that's likely to become his full-time job next year. But he will run the Breeders' Crown up in Canada. If you get a chance to see him, check him out because he is indeed the fastest harness horse in history, Randall.